The American Rescue Plan Act was signed into law by President Biden on March 11, 2021, and provided 100% subsidy of COBRA or CalCOBRA premiums for certain individuals from April 1, 2021 through September 30, 2021. In our video series, we have provided the following. COBRA subsidy part one, we discussed who is and who is not eligible for the COBRA subsidy. COBRA subsidy part two, we discussed who is paying for the COBRA subsidy and the penalties for non-compliance. COBRA subsidy part three, we discussed COBRA compliance action steps for the employer before May 31st, 2021. Today, we will be discussing the final COBRA subsidy notice beginning mid-August 2021. September 30th, 2021 marks the conclusion of the 100% COBRA or CalCOBRA subsidy period through the American Rescue Plan Act. As we approach the expiration date, there is a final notice that must be sent to assistance eligible individuals, also referred to as AEIs, announcing the conclusion of the subsidy period, along with information on their continuation of coverage options beginning in October. Who needs to send the final notice? If employers or third-party administrators are administering COBRA, they must send this final notice to participants and eligible dependents. Employers domiciled in California who have 2 to 19 employees and are subject to CalCOBRA, the carriers will send the final notice to assistance-eligible individual participants, informing them of the conclusion of the subsidy period. When does the final notice need to be sent? The final notice must be distributed 15 to 45 days before the expiration of the COBRA subsidy. The Department of Labor has released a model notice for employers to use to satisfy this final COBRA subsidy notice requirement. Of course, the employer or the third-party administrator would need to complete the notice with the appropriate plan information, including the cost for continuation of COBRA coverage beginning as of October 1st, and informing the participants the COBRA subsidy is no longer available. This notice will also inform participants of how long the COBRA coverage will continue if they should decide to continue the coverage beyond the COBRA subsidy period of September 30th, 2021, as well as alternative options, including the special enrollment period of his or her state exchange. Each final notice of the COBRA subsidy must be customized and must accurately represent the assistance eligible individual situation to comply with this notice requirement. In conclusion, make sure the proper new final model notice is updated and distributed within the required time frame, and make sure you document, document, document. If you are an employer who would like a review of your employee benefits program and benefits compliance, please contact M&J Insurance Solutions.